What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan here, back again with another quick video about your Clemson Tigers. And today, I wanted to discuss Clemson's defensive line and the growth that they've had from some of those backup players. Yeah, we're not going to look at the starting players. We're going to look at some of the backup players. I want to get your thoughts and tell you my thoughts as well. Hey, before we get into the video, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every day single week. And I have two special guests here with me, Carter and Camden, my nephews, and they're going to help me and to talk about the Clemson defensive line. Again, specifically, we want to look away from the Tyler Davis and the Ruka Roros of the world and look at that, those guys behind them on the depth chart and see where they're at right now after a few games into the season and give you our thoughts. So, First up, we've got a few guys that Dabo Sweeney was asked about in this week's press conference, specifically Peter Woods, DeMonte Capehart, and Peyton Page. We all know Peter Woods. He's that big five-star guy that everybody recruited, and we felt like he was going to be good, and he obviously is getting a ton of snaps being a big-time recruit. How important is it to get that big-time five-star guy out there so early on in the season? Get him going at practice, and, I mean, Teach him the uh, skills and the uh, get him to the ability where he can play out in the game and win the game. Right. It's big. it's big, right? Because you want to get your young guys out there, especially young guys that did so well in high school. Now they're getting to show what they can do in, uh, in their freshman year. Not everybody has that talent and skill to jump that – um, to make that jump from high school to college, but obviously Peter Woods has that. Right now, Woods overall has five total tackles, no sacks, but has played 106 snaps. 27 of those snaps came from the Syracuse game. Looking at the other guys that are kind of rotating along that defensive front in the defensive tackle position along with Woods are DeMonte Capehart and Peyton Page. Now, Capehart is a junior. A lot of people are like, where is where has Capehart been? Well, he's been injured for the past couple of years, so he's still trying to work his way back into the rotation. Dabo Sweeney said he's finally healthy, and he's a unique guy that can really help the defense. He's been preparing better. He's been getting his body ready. And he's just a different kind of guy that goes in that rotation with Aurora Rowe, Davis, and Capehart, uh, and Woods as well. So a big guy, unique guy, got him at two, 320 pounds right now. And he was close to being a five-star himself. How important is it to keep battling even after injury? It's very important. Uh, you want to play your best even though you just got back. You got to work hard, stay healthy. And now that he's back healthy, I think he'll be able to show out. Right now, overall, 71 snaps, for, and he has two total tackles. So last week against Syracuse, he also had over 20 snaps, right at, or he had right at 20 snaps. So, um, you know, he's getting more playing time as well. If you look at compared to the starters in Davis and Aurora, 36 snaps for Davis, 27 snaps for Aurora. So these guys are getting in there, and they're getting almost as equal snaps as the starters. That's Woods and Capehart. And then not too far behind is Peyton Page, who I actually like because he has eight, 81 total uh, snaps right now and four tackles. Uh, so that gives him a tackle-to-snap ratio of .04, which puts him right up there with Peter Woods and right behind Ruka Roro. So his efficiency and effectiveness, even though he has only 81 snaps, has been showing on the field. Clemson has really right now five defensive tackles that they can trust and rotate through to get big reps as the season goes on. I think that'll be huge in developing them for next year. You want to get these guys that are your second-string guys, that are your guys – that are going to be probably maybe even starters next year. You want to get them reps this year so that they can be ready for 2024. How important it is, is it, even in the early stages of the season, how important is it to kind of be thinking ahead to next season? Um, it's really important because if you're working hard this season, you could get put in next season and work through that season and try to get a um, championship. With what about for the team makeup? Like when you, If you're a coach and you're saying, I need to make sure – that 2023 is the best, right? But you, as a coach, you're probably also thinking, I need to get these younger guys, the backups, uh, some some reps so that 2024 is good. Well, you want to test them to see their ability and their strengths and weaknesses and how you need to get them better. Um, and it's important because you also need to know, it's important for coaches in the off season to know how how they're going to have their lineup next year if they want to. They have to watch during the other season so they can see if they're good enough to put them in for the next season as a starter. 
I think it's a great point. You always look at practice and you want to see the guys that do well in practice, but it is even better to see what they've done in games. And so the more you can get them out there and get them those 20, 25, or more snaps out there, starter level snaps, the more important it'll be because those are true snaps, not just practice, right? I'm encouraged to see what Clemson can do this year, the remaining of the season, to keep building back and try to overcome the adversity that they've faced in 2023. But I'm also excited to see what Clemson has in store for the defensive line in 2024. As many fans out there know, when you look at the roster, there's a lot of guys on the defensive side of the ball that are going to be leaving. The majority of the starters that are out there right now will not be on the team next season. So those guys behind them have to get reps today, tomorrow, and in the future to be ready for next season. Hey guys, thank you so much for being a part of the show and watching this video. Along with my nephews here, we appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. And hey, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you feel like that these five guys are good? Are you confident in what they can do? Do you like how uh, the coaching staff at Clemson has been rotating them? Maybe there's another guy you feel like should be in the mix. I'd love to get the names and get your comments in there. So don't forget to put it down.